I also want to talk about the parallelization aspect. So you can not only run it on one CPU, you can run, run it on multiple cores, if I'm not completely mistaken here. Um, Jens, do you want to talk about this parallelization aspect and also how the uh, load is distributed between the cores? That's very interesting, I think. Yeah, so in the very early days, um, we started with an implementation working on a single workstation only. Um, but even though um, our method really is very fast and solves for the uh, engineering problems very fast. We, um, of course, understood that um, even faster is even better <laughs> and uh, that more hardware can solve for this problem. So we started working on an implementation of a um, distributed computation um, using our method and using Prion Lab. Um, which is uh, not trivial using um, a particle-based approach, since you do not have this uniform grid where you can then uh, do a, a domain decomposition, so take part of the space actually and distribute to a specific node in your um, in your HPC cluster, um, because particles can move freely in the in the entire uh, domain. So they can actually could um, move from one part of the domain to the other and therefore to another node. And um, what we have implemented in Prion Lab is a so-called hybrid MPI approach, um, which means that um, the um, MPI interface, so the MPI um, communication is only happening in between the nodes and not for single cores. So on, on each and every node, um, the implementation works on a shared memory system, um, reducing uh, the bottleneck of the internode communication, while the internode communication only happens where it is where it is really necessary, so in between the actual nodes. And uh, furthermore, um, of course, this also makes it um, necessary to um, distribute the workload to the nodes as good as possible, especially because we learned that many of our customers have pretty heterogeneous MPI clusters. So not every node is as powerful as the other node. And um, therefore we have a, a load balancer, which um, after every simulation st step or after, after every, every X simulation step checks for the performance and uh, um, improves uh, the distribution of the workloads in order to make make the best out of the the hardware that is that is possible mm -hmm. on another note here so in our dna of the company so we started as a researcher as a computer scientist and computer scientists wants to want to make things faster and more efficient and so here in the field of sph simulation we had like the best playing field that you can imagine from from this perspective um, so when i started we we were excited about being able to simulate like hundred thousand particles, where, which were computed in in one week, and uh, so. But we were very proud of it. Now we we have customers doing their own simulations. Um, for you can see on our homepage of water weighting by Volvo, which they took they they use one hundred fifty million um, particles, and um, and and is simulated in in a shorter time than this one week. I think it's like in in two days or so, and um, this is only possible by by our highly talented pe uh, team of of high performance computing specialists, which are fighting for every millisecond. But still, I think so that. Prion Lab is very fast, and it is seen in in the in in, in by our by our um, customers which are doing benchmarks and comparing Prion Lab to other software, they say, I cannot believe that, it, that's, that it's that fast. So there must be something wrong in the computational result because you're, you're cheating here probably. Mm -hmm. um, but still, I think that we will see a lot of progress in, in upcoming years there. And so I, I, I often compare it to like changing the, the simulation world from the same experience that computer science went through from programming with like these these cards <laughs> and you you needed to to to, to you, you got the results days after it and you saw mm -hmm. okay there was a wrong, wrong what something wrong in my code and now how efficient can we compute uh, and and write computer programs now and i hope and and we are fighting for that that um, this will change in the same way for the simulation mm -hmm. industry